All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 42. All right. So with form submissions, it's useful and good practice to provide each submittable element with a name attribute, right? So we've been going for pretty much all these uh, inputs, uh, attributes, it's been telling us to put names in them. Uh, anyway, going back to this. So this attribute is used to identify the element in the form submission. So now we're going to give each submittable element a unique name attribute of our choosing, except for the two radio inputs. All right. So this one on the first uh, on the first version of this, I've been get I got a ton or a, a few, a few. Uh, what is it? And then here we're not going to do these two. I got a few uh, comments about how difficult this one is. So best thing to do, let's break this up so we can see it. And then uh, just don't even bother breaking this one up. Just keep this field set as it is since we're not going to uh, mess with it. And then we'll just uh, take care of it after that, right? So uh, here's this. Whoops, whoops, whoops. And then I'm pretty sure, yeah, this one's fine. All right. So we're going to do the, we're going to put the names in each one of these. And it says to put any unique name. It's going to change them on the next one anyway, no matter what. So let's just do something so that we can uh, get through this. A little more easily. How about that? We'll say, uh, and then just remember to do it correctly when you actually do it, right? So let's say name like this equals, and then we'll have a uh, empty string like this. So let's take this uh, up to the required. Let's copy this and put it in there. One, two, three. And then after this one, it gets uh, different. And then right here after file four right here after uh, 125, and then right here after the select ID, that's what we're gonna put it in this one. Uh, six, <laughs> seven, uh, and then right here after the uh, input, because the first time I did it, I put it inside the anchor, don't do that. Put it after this require right here, eight right there, right? Uh, and then let's just, so that we can double check we're going to do this and remember what we cop we pasted it eight times that means there's nine of them so we'll say one in this one two here oops all right let's change this name required you can do it you hopefully you did it right let me change this up real quick one two three and let's come over here four and then five six seven eight, nine. All right. And so if you got nine of them, that means it, it you pretty much got it done. Let's check it. No. <laughs> Come on. Text area. What's the problem? Text area. Name attribute. Where did we put it up? Oh, oh, I put it in the label. And that's why we do it like that. So uh, bring it down here. Boom. Check it. Looks good. And submit it. All right, now we're on to step 43, and we'll see you next time.